the Drew Pomerantz era in Boston is over. The San Francisco Giants are signing the free agent pitcher to a one contract worth $1.5 million, the Athletics' Ken Rosenthal confirmed Wednesday. Ken BR's Larry Kruger was the first to report the signing. Rosenthal, January 23, 2019 Few expected Pomeranz to re-sign with the Boston Red Sox after his one-year, $8.5 million deal expired this offseason. The 30-year-old left-hander enjoyed brief spurts of success with the Red Sox since joining the club via trade from the San Diego Padres at the 2016 MLB trade deadline. He posted a 17-6 record with a 3.32 era during the 2017 season while pitching a career-high 173 and two-thirds innings and at his best was a solid back-end starter for Boston. Injuries and inconsistency plagued Pomerantz in 2018, however. He appeared in just 26 games while battling arm problems and put up an unseemingly 6.08 era, resulting in his demotion to the bullpen. He also was left off the Red Sox's playoff roster, a sign that he wouldn't figure into manager Alex Cora's pitching plans in 2019. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. The Red Sox have yet to make any notable moves to improve their bullpen this offseason, and it doesn't look like Dave Dombrowski wants to spend big on an elite closer. Meanwhile, the Yankees signed both Zach Britton and Adam Ottavino, the Phillies acquired David Robertson, and the Cardinals signed former Sox reliever Andrew Miller. The only, elite, option left on the table is the one that won a World Series with Boston just a few months ago, Craig Kimbrell. Is Edgar's Hall call good for Big Poppy? Though bringing back Kimbrell is still plausible, it might make more sense for the Red Sox to target a cheap, short-term bullpen arm instead. According to ESPN's Jeff Passan, we should expect some dominoes to fall in the relief market over the next few days. Two names in particular garnering interest for one-year deals are right-handers Ryan Madsen and Brad Bratch. Over the next few days, there are going to be a handful of relief pitcher signings as teams comb the one-year market, league sources tell ESPN. One name generating a lot of interest, according to team officials, Brian Madsen. Another to keep an eye on, Brad Bradge, Jeff Passan, at Jeff Passan, January 23, 2019 Sox fans likely remember Madsen as the guy who couldn't buy an out for a Dodgers during the World Series. The 38-year-old had a nightmarish 2018 campaign, posting a 5.47 era and 1.40 whip in 58 appearances to go along with his less-than-stellar postseason. However, the veteran could be poised for a bounce-back year considering his reputation as one of the top relievers in the game prior to last year. In 2017, Madsen enjoyed one of the best seasons of his 13-year career with a 1.83 era and 0.79 whip in 60 appearances. As for Bratch, his name might ring a bell because he played in the American League East for four seasons with the Orioles before joining the Braves in 2018. Bratch, 32, I wasn't anything to write home about last season, but his numbers did improve after being dealt to Atlanta where he had a 1.52 era and 1.31 whip in 28 games played. Neither of these options would generate many, who's and oz, from Red Sox fans if Boston indeed chooses to go this route. That especially goes for Madsen, given his disastrous World Series performance is still fresh in everyone's minds. But with Dombrowski seemingly unwilling to spend big for relief help, a one-year deal for either of these two arms or another mid-tier reliever could be the direction the team is heading in. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. The clock on Kurt Schilling's Baseball Hall of Fame candidacy ticked closer to midnight Tuesday.
while Mariano Rivera, Roy Halliday, Edgar Martinez, and Mike Messina all made the cut for 2019, Schelling received 60.9% of votes, well short of the 75% threshold needed to reach the hall. Is Martinez making half boost David Ortiz's chances? It's Schilling's seventh year on the ballot, which means he has just three more years of eligibility. But Tuesday's results suggest the former Boston Red Sox pitcher should make it as soon as next year. That's what Bob Costas believes. The MLB Network analyst Long has supported Schilling's candidacy and made this definitive statement Tuesday night via Boston.com. Kurt Schilling took a significant jump. He should have been in on the first ballot. The other considerations are not relevant. Kurt Schilling is on his way to the Hall of Fame. Schilling's politics and poor business decisions have earned him plenty of criticism. But his baseball resume holds up, six All-Star appearances, three World Series titles and a career 3.46 era over 20 MLB seasons spend mostly with the Philadelphia Phillies, Arizona Diamondbacks and Red Sox. If you compare those numbers with Messina's, five All-Star nods, zero World Series titles and a 3.68 career era over 18 MLB seasons, Schilling certainly seems worthy. But let's forget stats for a second to look at Hall of Fame voter trends. Schilling has seen a 15.9% increase in votes over the last three years, from 45.0% in 2017 to 51.2% in 2018 to 609 this season. Here's how many votes Mycena and Martinez, the two non-first ballot Hall of Famers in the 2019 class, received in the previous three seasons, followed by the votes they received this year, Messina, 43.0% in 201,651.8% in 201,763.5% in 201,876.7% in 2019 Martinez, 43.4% in 201,658.6% in 201,000 1,770.4% in 200, 1,885.4% in 2019 Schilling is pretty much right on the same track as Messina, albeit a year behind, and if he continues that trend should receive right around 75% of votes in 2020. Considering he was the leading vote-getter among non-Hall of Famers this year, it seems very likely Schilling becomes the 12th Red Sox player to earn a place in Cooperstown. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device.